Hey, I'm Tom Graham for Envato Tuts Plus. I've been using Premiere Pro for about 15 years now and After Effects for a similar amount of time. And in years gone by, there was quite a round trip to go from After Effects into Premiere Pro if you wanted to create your motion graphics and animations in After Effects, but then obviously edit them in Premiere Pro. Now you can create a motion graphics template or an MOGRT file in After Effects. You can bring that into Premiere Pro and you can change things like text, color, size, anything that you desire. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now. As well as that, I'll show you how to easily import MOGRT files that you might get from places like Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a really easy to use subscription-based service that gives you unlimited downloads to millions of assets like stock footage, uh, video templates, things like MOGRT files. Anything that you need to just grab, drop into your project and lift it to that next level, you can find on Envato Elements. The commercial licensing is super simple and you can cancel this subscription at any time. So why not check it out now? There is a link in the description below. But onwards with MOGRT files. So I've made a very basic uh, lower third here that says my name, Tom Graham. I've got Envato Tuts Plus, and then I've got a little arrow that points up to me. Now this of course will be uh, on an alpha layer here. Uh, so when I can lay this across my video in Premiere Pro, uh, it'll just show up like a normal lower third. And this obviously goes for the MOGRT file as well. That will do that automatically. First of all, you're going to go up to your toolbar at the top of the screen and hit window, go down and make sure the essential graphics tab is in your project. So it's really self-explanatory. So the very first prompt that you get here once you open the essential graphics tab in After Effects is to select composition. Now, when I drop this down, I've got a lot of compositions in this project due to this marker pack that I am using. But what I wanna scroll down to and find is the composition that I'm working on right now, which is TG lower third. So I'm gonna open this up and scroll down to T. TG lower third, there we go. I'm going to give this a name and this will be the name that shows up in Premiere Pro when you add it to the Essential Graphics tab over there. So TGL3, and I'm gonna call this Marker because you know it's specifically the one I've used this Marker uh, effect for. Now, how do I get all of the elements that I can then change in Premiere Pro into this Essential Graphics tab right here? Well, it's very easy. So I've got my three comps here. I've got Arrow, I've got Envato Tuts Plus, and I've got Tom Graham. So that's the three elements that are on the screen here. First of all, I'm going to go to Arrow. I'm gonna twirl this down here. And basically anything with a stopwatch next to it, anything that you can keyframe in After Effects is something that can be changed in Premiere Pro. It's a parameter that can be changed in Premiere Pro as part of the MOGRT file. You can actually do a thing up here where you go solo supported properties and that will only show you things down here uh, in your composition that will be able to be changed in your MOGRT file. So I'm going to grab on this change to color effect, which I've done here. So this uh, arrow used to be just this white color but I've added a change to color effect on here. So I'm going to grab the from, I'm gonna grab the to, uh, and I'm just holding down command here, and I'm gonna get the change by. I'm not gonna get any of this tolerance stuff because it's not something that I use. So I'm going to bring this up, simple as this, drag and drop. Now you can see it's dropped it in there. So I wanna delineate this a bit more because once I bring this into Premiere Pro, uh, I wanna know what I'm actually changing the color. So I'm going to go original, arrow color. I'm going to go in this and rename this to desired arrow color. Uh, and I'm going to make a note to myself here. I'm going to say use hue, lightness, saturation. And the same here, I'm also going to just make a little note to myself, use setting to color. There we go. So that is everything for our arrow here. I'm gonna twirl this back up uh, and this one as well so that we can go down to our Envato Tuts Plus layer here. I'm gonna twirl down and you can see the things that we'll probably wanna change are your position, scale and rotation. So I'm gonna grab all of those and you know what? I'm gonna throw in opacity for free here as well. So let me drag and drop this up here. And you can see Envato Tuts Plus position, Envato Tuts Plus scale, Envato Tuts Plus rotation, Envato Tuts Plus opacity. There we go, easy as that. So I'm going to drop that back and I'm gonna to go to my name here. Now this one's great because, uh, you know, there's a couple of people at uh, Envato who make Envato Tuts Plus videos for the Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, please jump on there now, hit subscribe, drop down here on text and go source text. You can see again, it's keyframeable. It's, uh, it's got the little stopwatch next to it. If you bring that up here and go change this, 
from my name just to name in general, that means I can now share this MOGRT file with all of our editors. We can drop this into all of our various Premiere Pro instances across the world and use the same lower third, but change the name out. How easy is that? So now that we've got this name in here, we do need to just uh, scroll this over and go to edit properties here. So we wanna enable custom font selection. So that means they can choose their own font. We wanna enable font size adjustment uh, and enable faux styles as well. We'll leave the rest uh, as fine. Don't worry about use layer as fallback text box. Hit okay. So there we go. You can see here it's picked Noir Pro is what I've already got. I've got it in bold uh, and you've got the size here. And that's going to let anyone using this in Premiere Pro change that on the go. Easy as that. So not only do we want them to be able to change the uh, text and what's written there, not everyone has the same name, of course. We also want them to be able to change the color. If they can change the color of the arrow, they may as well be able to change the color of their name. Let's just go in here and do another change to color effect here. Change to color. We're gonna drag this on our layer here and I'm gonna pull this down as well. Going to select the from to change and change by. Drop that in here. Now, again, the same as up here, we wanna change this to uh, ori oops, original name color. We wanna change this to desired name color. And we wanna change this exactly the same way as we've got up here. So I'm going to copy that and the same up here. Going to copy that. Done. All right, so let's take stock of what we've done here. We've got original arrow color, which we can change, and we've got the notes to ourselves. We can change the position, scale, rotation of the arrow, that arrow just over here. Uh, and you know, we can also get rid of that as well if we don't like it. Uh, and you do that by just changing the scale down to zero. We've got the position, scale, rotation, and opacity of our Envato Tuts Plus wipe on layer here. And we have our name, which we can actually change. We can change the font. We can change the style size or the faux style. Like for instance, here, we've got it set to all capitals. We can also change the color of the name if we want to. So now that we've got this, how do we bring that into Premiere Pro? Well, it's actually really simple. I know I keep saying that, so let's get on with it. Just hit export motion graphics template right here. So it's gonna ask you to save the project. It's gonna ask you to do a few different things through this process, uh, but just keep, Keep following along and uh, it'll it'll take you in the right direction. So once it copies the files, it's going to shut the project down, bring it back open again, uh, and then it will let you save a few different other parameters. Don't worry, this is all completely normal. And obviously the more parameters that you've set to be able to change, the longer this process is going to take. If you have a simple name and title uh, that you can just change the font, the style and the size of, it's going to take no time at all. Okay, so we've got some options here. We can save it to a local templates folder, local drive, or your library. I'm going to keep it on local drive, just so that I know exactly where it is. So there's a couple of compatibility warnings that are ticked. Uh, if they're not ticked, I suggest you do tick them. So warn me if the motion graphics template uses fonts that are not available from Adobe Fonts. In this case, I'm using a font from Envato Elements. So it's not an Adobe font. So it will warn me in Premiere Pro the first time I use this, uh, I suggest you tick that, but that doesn't mean the font can't be changed. So that's fine. Warn me if After Effects needs to be installed in order to customize this motion graphics template. Yep, that's fine for me. I've got it installed, but for anyone else that might be using this MOGRT file in Premiere Pro, they might not have After Effects installed. So this is a handy reminder if you do need to use it to change. And I think you might because of the change to color effect. Now there's another one. Warn me if there are text controls that cannot be edited with the Premiere Pro type tool. Again, totally fine. Hit OK and we'll be off to the races. Again, here it's just told me that Noir Pro is not part of the Adobe font suite. That's okay, I know it's from Envato Elements and you can check out the link to Envato Elements in the description below. So now that that's done, we're just gonna hit save and we're gonna quit out of this and we're gonna open up Premiere Pro. I've just got an intro to a video here that I would obviously need to put a lower third on. Uh, I'm just going to go up to captions and graphics here to get to our essential graphics tab. And it's really simple. I'm going to the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner here. It's a bit hard to see, but there's a little button down here that says install motion graphics template. Clicking on that will bring up another little option here. Find your MOGRT file that you exported from After Effects, but moments ago, hit open and it's going to show up here. So what you can do is you just drag this on top of your footage here, uh, and then you can see it's all happening uh, right there in Premiere Pro. This is what we made in After Effects, but moments ago, let's play it through.
Tom Graham in Vitotouch Plus, little arrow, great. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our edit tab here and we're just going to you know, scale and reposition a little bit so that it's exactly where we want it to get started. I'm pretty happy there. You can turn on your title safe area if you really wanna get down into the nitty gritty and work out exactly where to put your lower third. I like it there, that works for me. Now I'm gonna go back into captions and graphics here, clicking on our lower third here and making sure that in our essential graphics tab, everything that we wanna change is changeable. So first off, let's change my name. Let's go to, I don't know, Tommy Graham, and you'll see nothing's happened. That's okay, if you click out of it, look at that, Tommy Graham. I'm gonna change this over to heavy italic. It's already looking good. Uh, and what I wanna do is I wanna change the color of my name. Now, look, it says original name color here in white. Don't touch the original name color. This is just a bit of a hangover from the way we did this in After Effects. But if you go to uh, use hue, lightness and saturation, like we mentioned before, make sure this is setting to color. Go to the desired name color and just kind of find the color you want. Let's go to a nice, I don't know, hot pink, kind of purple vibe here. So now it's picked up the original name color there. And we wanna change the arrow color to fit. So we're just gonna copy this and go into our desired color for the arrow here. Do the same, our arrows change to that. Perfect. Let's change the Envato Tuts Plus a little bit here. Let's give it a little bit more uh, scale. Let's rotate it just a scooch, move it over. And I think I wanna make my name a bit bigger. Look at that, I think it's all looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit uh, sneaking towards the bottom of the frame. So let's just bring it up a little bit more front and center. Back to our captions and graphics here. Look, we've gone from uh, what we made in After Effects, which was yellow and it was all straight. It was a different type of font, a different style of font. I had a completely different name at the start of this. Let's play this through. Tommy Graham, Envato Tuts Plus, little arrow pointing up, same color as my name, as easy as that. Guys, it's so simple. So there you go, that's the modern round trip from After Effects into Premiere Pro, but without having to go back to After Effects to tweak any changes to things like color or font uh, that you might wanna make once you're in your edit in Premiere Pro. It's really simple, but you know what's even simpler? Going to Envato Elements and downloading thousands of MOGRT files to be able to use in your projects right away. Drag them, drop them into Premiere Pro, you can change anything that you want. Super simple, and like I said before, the commercial licensing with Envato Elements is super simple as well. You can cancel the subscription at any time, you get unlimited downloads of literally millions of assets, and not just MOGRT files as well. We're talking things like stock footage, stock photos, graphics templates, video templates, LUTs, MOGRT files as well. So go and check it out today. If you're interested, the link is in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. And if you're not already an Envato Tuts Plus YouTube subscriber, you know what to do, hit that little button down below.